Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. You are now watching the Grumpy Easterner for some reason. So today, just a little introduction into the world of infrared photography. It's basically taking pictures not in the visible spectrum of light, or maybe just at the very edge of it, uh, but taking uh, pictures in the spectrum of light that has slightly longer wavelengths. You have uh, shorter wavelengths in the ultraviolet uh, spectrum, then you have the visible spectrum, and then you have slightly longer ones in uh, the infrared. So that's enough for theory. And now how you take the pictures. So either on a film or on digital. Don't worry, you won't uh, need to look at my face for much longer. I will put some uh, infrared uh, video footage uh, right here. So, film infrared photography. There are some infrared films on the market. This one is uh, quite good. It's really infrared. If you want to take pictures you can't find uh, Rolly Infrared, check uh, if there is uh, Rolly 400, which they say is slightly different, but uh, I looked at the uh, data sheet and according to the spectral sensitivity it's the same thing. So if you can find both, buy the cheaper one, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I also have some good experience with uh, Role uh, Superpan 200, that's also a very good one, but uh, the light sensitivity is uh, slightly lower there, just you need to uh, just count with it. You can uh, use, they make them in uh, both 120 and 35mm. Uh, you can use just a normal camera, just make sure uh, it doesn't uh, have any light leaks because these films are much more sensitive uh, to light leaks. I suggest using a slightly wider lens, uh, this is 24 millimeter, and you put infrared filter on your camera. Now infrared filter can be quite costly. If you put just normal red filter there you will see some light infrared effect, we call it uh, near infrared spectrum, uh, but if you put uh, actual infrared filter on your camera it will be very hard for you to take the picture because you couldn't, uh, you ca just can't see through uh, the viewfinder. So, by, I would suggest uh, either uh, 720 or 750 which is very close enough to the infrared spectrum and you can still kind of see through it. There are many good brands, uh, I suppose many of you have uh, Hoya filters or something like this. Uh, if you are a poor bastard like me, uh, you are probably using Kenko. But if you are extremely cheap, like me in the last few years, you will go online and check if there are some good filters. And you will find uh, this one. I don't know what is what's the name of this. It's actually called Filter Digital Filter DHD Digital High Definition Made in China. Ah, it's called Niwer. So Niwer it's quite a good one. It, I have it for three years, it never failed, so I don't know, go for it. And uh, if you are taking the pictures and want to take uh, on the larger format and you have a camera that's slightly bigger, prepare yourself for paying a lot for the filter. So I suggest using something uh, in between. 58mm uh, was big enough for uh, all the purposes I needed. Again, if you are taking the picture, 
make sure there are no light leaks in your camera. So always stay in a shade when changing the film, be careful. And now, how you take the picture. Some people suggest you somehow measure the light and you do some weird calculation and uh, some people suggest there are charts for this. No. It's very easy. You only can take these pictures when there is direct sunlight. So just set it up to 1 25th of a second and uh, then set it on 5.6 for the iris and you are good to go. If you can hold it in your hand, you can set it on 1 60th of a second. And I think that's, uh, that's good enough even when the sun is not shining very bright, like in the evening for example. It's pretty much impossible to take a good infrared picture uh, during overcast. For digital cameras, now that's much more complicated. You see, modern digital cameras have something that's called a hot mirror, which is basically a filter that takes uh, away all the infrared light from your sensor. So my suggestion will be go for an old camera. The video uh, you have seen was taken by this camera. It's a Olympus Camedia C2100. It's quite a good camera. It, uh, the lens uh, is actually from Canon. And even though the resolution is not very good and <laughs> that's the old card. And uh, it's uh, quite grainy. It will give you beautiful images if you don't need uh, like very good quality. If you if you just need it for your phone or for uh, web purposes, this will do fine. You mount your filter on it, and you can take your pictures. That's basically very easy, you will see uh, on the digital camera, you will see it in the instant. Uh, for the film camera, you will of course need to develop the film. Uh, the development process is the exact same as for normal film. Things that look good in infrared, it's everything that's green. All the plant life, it will reflect as very very white, very bright. All the darker spots, like things in a shade, they will be very dark. Clouds will be bright white. Blue sky will be almost black. Human skin. Now, human skin will have a very interesting uh, wax-like uh, quality. I suggest you try it. It's a uh, it's really interesting and uh, you can scare someone because if you take pictures of someone that's uh, very uh, very pale, you will see the veins in their body. Water, the first, like this much of water will be pretty much transparent, but the rest will be very dark. I suggest you try, you experiment. Uh, I think you can get these cameras for like $20. You can get the filter for another 5, 10. So try it, experiment with it if you want. And uh, if you like this topic, uh, I can talk about it more because uh, I have been taking infrared pictures for several years now. Also, an interesting thing, if you take uh, an infrared film and shoot it without a filter, you will get normal results. But if you put a red filter there, or yellow filter, you will get something in between. And uh, something in between can be very good uh, when you're taking a portrait picture of someone. 
because uh, it will take all the wrinkles away. I suppose women will like it. So, thank you very much for watching. See you.